Hello guys. Okay, so now we're going to do the AS, the ADAS, aggregate demand, aggregate supply curve, and this is all for the X uh, Economics 1601 exam. Okay, the AS, ADAS curve looks just like microeconomics, where you have demand running this way and supply running this way. Except over here it's aggregate demand and aggregate supply. So we're not looking at just one player in the economy, but the whole, the economy as a whole. Okay, over here we have Y, which is also the GDP. Okay, or total output, aggregate output, total income, any word like that. And over here we have P, which will be the price level. So Y0 and... Zero. All right, here is the price level. The price level indicates inflation. So if, if the price level goes up, it means prices go up, so it's inflation. And right, so just a little bit of theory to make this a lot easier. Aggregate demand, that is demand side, okay, and aggregate supply is supply side. The only thing that can affect the supply curve is the four production factors. Okay, the four production factors. Remember there we had natural resources, we had labor, entrepreneurship and capital, and sometimes they wanted to add technology. Okay, so that is the four production factors. If it gets more expensive to produce something, the aggregate supply curve will go that way. Okay, if it gets more expensive to produce something, or if the profit decreases, it goes that way. If it gets cheaper to produce, people will produce more, and the aggregate supply will go this way. The aggregate supply curve is only the four production factors that can move that one. This one, if it moves, if it goes up, it's a cost-push inflation. Okay, cost-push inflation. Okay, so it's cost. So whatever influences the four production factors is the cost of supply. And if it goes up, it's cost push inflation. On the aggregate demand side, it is cost pull. No, 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 no. Demand pull. So D demand, demand pull inflation. So if this line had to go shift to the right, if this curve had to shift to the right, our new price would be higher, the price level would increase, but it would be demand pool inflation. All right, there's just a lot of theory that I'm going to run through all for the exam relevant to this curve. Okay, if they ask what demand management policies can you use to grow the economy or to increase total output, uh, or total income or aggregate output, anything like that. So there's two things that can change the aggregate demand over here. Remember there we said it's just production factors? Over here there's two things. There's the monetary policy and there's the fiscal policy. The monetary policy is the South African Reserve Bank. The only thing they can do is they can lower inflation or they can increase the money supply. Okay, that is all they can do. Well, it does make a very big difference, but that's the two options. On the fiscal policy side, they can increase government spending, they can reduce taxes. Okay. So what will this do? This will influence that lovely circle we discussed, where we have production, income and spending. So if government expenditure goes up, if government expenditure goes up, naturally the whole economy goes up, so the output will increase. Same if taxes go down. Remember we said it's a leakage, so when taxes go down there will be more money, which means Y will increase. The other thing is the interest rate. So if the interest rate goes down, 
the interest rate goes down, our investment spending will go up. If interest rates goes down, investment spending will go up, and this in turn will influence the output. So there's lots of nice ways to say this, but when output goes up, that means that GDP, this one, will go up. Okay, if this happens, the, the question can split in two over here. This can cause the demand to increase, which means the prices will increase. But it also means that the GDP will go up, which means that unemployment will go down. Okay, this is very much in a nutshell, but that's the AS, ADAS curve. Okay, so just for the exam, it's the ADAS curve. You've got your aggregate demand, aggregate supply. You have your Y over here and your price level over there. The only thing that moves the aggregate demand is monetary policy or fiscal policy. It's demand management strategies. If it moves that way, it is expansionary policy to boost the economy. And if it moves this way, it is contractionary monetary policy. The aggregate supply curve only moves with the production factors and it causes cost push inflation. Uh, if it goes this way, if the aggregate supply goes this way, it's terrible for the economy because the new equilibrium point, the output is less and the prices are higher. So there's less output, less things happening in the economy and the prices are higher and that is called stagflation. Stagflation. So how do we prevent stagflation? What moves the AS curve? It's the four production factors. So try to keep the input costs low. For example, try to keep wages, you know, don't let wages rise unnecessarily high or hmm, yeah, manage the four production factors. Okay, so I've tried to make it in a nutshell. There it is. Good luck.